hey lovelies welcome to my channel my name is joy in today's video we are going to be making ginger pomade this ginger pomade is great for healthy hair and scalp especially if you have scalp issues like inflamed scalp itchiness dandruff and things like that this ginger pomade is also excellent as a sealant to make the ginger pomade we are going to be using 100 grams of peeled and chopped up ginger add the chopped ginger into a blender and into that i'm going to be adding 150 ml of extra virgin olive oil olive oil nourishes and conditions the hair it has a very soothing effect on the scalp due to its antibacterial and antifungal properties olive oil also reduces dht production and prevents premature graying of hair blend everything into a smooth paste and once we are done i'm going to transfer that to a cooking pan now we are going to cook this on low heat for some minutes so that the benefits from the ginger can infuse into the oil ginger boosts blood circulation to the scalp stimulating hair growth and strengthening the hair roots and follicles ginger has powerful antimicrobial and antiseptic properties that keep the scalp clean and free from dandruff ginger also reduces inflammation and provides relief from itching and redness i think i cooked this for about five to seven minutes and then took it out from heat i'll let it cool down a bit and then i'll go ahead to strain to get our ginger oil we are going to be using the ginger oil to make the pomade The birds have just begun We will always take a stand For the people, for the land Gently squeeze out the ginger oil Look at that! This oil is packed full of the benefits from the ginger To make the actual ginger pomage I measured out 70 grams of ginger oil and into that, I'm going to be adding 15 grams of beeswax. Beeswax is rich in vitamin A and helps to moisturize the hair. Beeswax also helps to soothe scalp and skin conditions like psoriasis, eczema, and dandruff. Next up, I also added 15 grams of shea butter. Shea butter is rich in fatty acids and vitamins. It also has emollient properties that help to lock in moisture and soften the hair. And that's it for the ingredients for the pomade. I wanted to keep it simple and easy. Now cover the beaker with aluminum foil and transfer to heat so that the butters and waxes can melt and you know everything will blend in together. Everything has melted right here so I'm going to take it out from heat and then I'm going to add some vitamin E oil and some essential oils. Vitamin E to prevent oxidation of the oils and butters and essential oils to give it a nice smell here i'm using tea tree oil for this i feel like it goes well with ginger guys at this point you really want to work fast because this stuff can harden up quickly just work fast you know pour everything into a glass jar cover and set aside for some time so after some hours i came back and this is a ginger pomade it has solidified nicely it's so 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 good i like the fact that it melts on contact with warm hands look at that this thing will show that it will absorb well into the hair strands you can also use this to massage your scalp or your edges you can even use this on the skin as well it is so good if you have skin or scalp problems you know dandruff eczema dry patches whatever you know things like that psoriasis this ginger pomade is definitely wonderful for you it will help a lot to relieve those problems now moving on to the application guys i'm pairing the ginger pomade with ginger leave-in conditioner guys this ginger leave-in conditioner is also amazing i already have the video up on my channel so if you're interested you might want to check it out it will leave your hair so soft manageable healthy and shiny after applying the leave-in conditioner i'm now going in with the ginger pomade guys this ginger pomade look at that look at the way it absorbs into my hair make sure to work it into your hair especially the ends of your hair guys very important to prevent split ends repair damaged hair and damaged ends so i worked it into my hair real good 
went in with a white tooth comb to detangle my hair and now i'm going to pick up little portions of hair to twist down so friends if you have watched up to this point please click the like button to like the video so that youtube can recommend the video to other viewers that might be interested in this type of content and also hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed already thank you and god bless Let's go back to Look at that shine guys, look at how juicy the twists are looking. Once again, I'm going in with the ginger leave-in conditioner, work that into my hair real good, making sure it coats every strand and then I'll go in with the ginger pomade. I just love working with this pomade guys, the way it glides through my hair is amazing. Look at that, see how I'm paying special attention to my ends. I like to go in to specially apply that to my ends as well. And then I'll go in with a white tooth comb to detangle my hair and then I'll continue to pick up little portions of hair to twist down. I wish you guys can just reach through the screen and touch my hair. It's so soft. Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so we must merely make a strive Savannah I'm coming home Savannah And now my twist is done. I wore this twist for about a week and then I unraveled it and wore it as a twist out. And here is the twist out guys. If you want to see how to make the ginger living conditioner, click on this side of the screen to see how I did it. So that's it for today's video guys. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave comments in the comment section below. Bye!